Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority will examine fissures beneath the Suruga nuclear plant in Fukui Prefecture to determine whether there are active faults. The Suruga plant is one of six nuclear plants across the country that the authority has decided to investigate, and it will be the second survey following the OE plant in the same prefecture earlier this month. Regulation Authority official Kunihiko Shimazaki will visit the Suruga plant with four experts later this month. In a separate survey carried out in April, one of the fissures was found to be possibly linked to an active fault that runs beneath the compound. What the fuck? Another fissure directly below the plant's number two reactor could also be an active fault. What the fuck? What the fuck? The plant's operator, Japan Atomic Power Company, has been investigating six fi fissures. The results were to be finalized this month, but the company says the process will be delayed. If any of the fissures beneath a key nuclear facility is found to be an active fault, the plant will be barred from operation. It is the love of money which has the potential to exterminate, to render extinct the entire human race. Bluefin tuna draws sushi lovers back to sushi restaurants time and time again. Fishery delegates from around the world are meeting in Morocco to discuss how to manage the fish in the Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea. They were at odds with conservationists before the talks even began. Members of the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas are meeting in the city of Agadir. Delegates from fishing nations are expected to call for an increase in quotas, but conservationists are opposed. They feared bluefin tuna was on the brink of extinction. But members of the Commission's Scientific Committee say in recent years, stocks have started to recover. Japan is the world's largest tuna consumer. Japanese delegates plan to urge those from other fishing nations to strengthen measures to prevent overfishing and poaching. International energy agency leaders have lowered their growth forecast for nuclear power generation. Some governments are starting to reduce their reliance on the energy source. Last year's IEA report stated nuclear power generation could grow by 70 percent from 2010 levels. But this year, the organization expects a 58 percent growth by 2035. Agency officials say last year's accident at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is a factor, as is Germany's and Switzerland's reduced dependence on atomic energy. They also expect power generation from renewable sources like wind and solar to increase, accounting for about a third of the world's total output by 2035.
Some Americans spend hours in their cars every day trapped in traffic jams. They burn fuel even as they sit and wait. The people at the International Energy Agency say much of that fuel could soon come from domestic sources. They say the U.S. will become the world's largest oil producer within five years. Agency officials said the U.S. will overtake Saudi Arabia as the world's leading producer by 2017. Engineers have developed technology to extract oil from layers of rock thousands of meters below ground. Energy company workers are already producing shale oil. And they're expected to produce more and more shale gas, natural gas trapped in those underground layers. Agency spokespersons say the U.S. will be nearly self-sufficient in energy by 2035. Americans rely on imports for 20% of their domestic energy needs. The spokespersons say once Americans become self-sufficient, they may start showing less interest in the Middle East and other oil-producing regions.